Good morning to you. Welcome back. It's 444, your Wednesday morning. We are starting off on a nicer note. Now, it is still warm and muggy out there, but it's a lot better than it was yesterday or the day before, and that's thanks to that rain cooled air we saw yesterday afternoon and evening. You can actually see the city. We don't have a major haze, meaning that humidity is slightly lower. Now, it is still elevated, but we're in the 70s for the most part, and even some 60s on the North Shore at this hour. This afternoon, another warm, humid day, but notice our heat index values are not in the 110s. They're closer to upper 90s and low 100s. So still hot and humid, but it's more seasonal. We'll call it. Look at what the rain did yesterday. We got up to around 96 degrees and then that rain started to come in. We went from the 90s to the low 70s. The sunset last night was beautiful, wasn't it? And then we stayed in the 70s all through the evening. So that was a nice treat that we did see. And these are the minor treats we look for as we get into our hotter months and our muggier months. Now this morning we don't have any big storms across Texas. There's one big storm that's southwest of or southeast of Lubbock, Texas. This morning we don't have that big complex near Dallas. We do have a chance for storms though. It's just not going to play out the exact same as yesterday. So here's how it could play out later on today. By about 1 to 2 o'clock we heat up enough. We have a few storms and then those storms trying to blow in into the evening and dissipating. So similar to yesterday in a sense of not everyone gets heavy rain, but you may hear some lightning and thunder later on this afternoon and evening and you may get some light rain at the end of the day. Kenner only picked up 0.17 inches of rain, so not even a quarter of an inch of rain and we had light rain for several hours. It was just so light that it really just brought down the humidity and the heat across the area yesterday, so that was nice. But again today some storms and this is what the rest of the week holds. We're in this ring of fire pattern ridge to our south. Now it's weak enough that these storms are riding around the edge of this ridge. We also get a few pop up storms in the afternoon, so that's I'm going to continue all the way into the weekend here. Once again, very hard to time out and give precise locations of these storms, but there is going to be a chance each day. And you notice a couple days here and there are higher than others. The tropics still quiet, nothing to track out here really. But what's interesting is we've got three tropical waves, three tropical waves in the month of we'll say late May and as impressive as they look, it's not very common. One of the reasons for that is our very warm water temperatures already in the 80s. These just help these tropical waves look what we call juicy. They have more showers and storms with them, but they're not in a good environment right now to organize. So that is great news. We don't have anything to worry about in the tropics. If we do have to watch anything, it's probably not going to be until mid June in this area. That is completely normal as we get into the June month. But for now, we're enjoying it being nice and quiet. And don't forget our special, our hurricane special airs tonight at 630 right here on Channel 4 after the evening news. You'll be able to check that out and get you ready for the upcoming season. But that's what we got a summer like pattern. Temperatures going from the low 90s the next two days to the upper 80s with those chances for showers and storms lasting through the weekend.